What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 14, 14.2, 14.1 and stuff like that, especially for those on 8, 12 and 8, 13 devices. But before we get into that, I would like to invite you to vote your favorite YouTuber in the jailbreak community or of course in the iOS community here on the SileZ website. They're holding the best YouTuber of the year contest for the jailbreak community. And of course, if you want to vote me, I am GeoSnow in here, not iDevice central geosnow you press vote and basically enter your name and optionally your email and press vote but of course you can vote for whomever you like so definitely check it out it's an opportunity to cast your vote now as you probably know the iOS 14.2 currently is the only version signed yes Apple stopped signing iOS 14.1 yesterday and this is actually quite bad because iOS 14.2 patches a lot of vulnerabilities and this is the reason we got a lot of exploits being released and a lot of jail break demos being made. We're going to talk about some of them in this video in here, but iOS 14.2 is bad for jailbreaking because it patches all of that. So if you can, please stay away from iOS 14.2 and preferably stay on 14.1, 14.0.1 or 14.0. If you're on 13.7 or lower, do not update. However, a huge achievement was made even on 14.2. So with all the bugs that have been patched in here, it's still not enough. It's still not secure. So Vangelis at POC posted this quote iOS jailbreak demo in iPhone 12 Pro remember this is the latest iPhone that was released a couple of weeks ago running the latest iOS 14.2 by Lion Chan and they posted a video in here demonstrating a full jailbreak which is actually quite good and this was done at Singular Security Lab and they say quote ask Lion Chan on Security Lab about the jailbreak and his talk directly now the Singular Security Lab also posted this so that you know it is indeed real they posted quote iPhone 12 Pro running the latest iOS 14.2 pawned by Singular Security Lab. Now, if you open the photo in here, they do show they actually have SSH, which is indeed incredible, especially since this is basically on the iPhone 12 or the A14 devices, the latest available. And yes, I know there will be a couple of people in the audience that will be pretty much concerned whether this is going to work on the A12 and A13 as well. The answer is yes. If it works on the A14 and A12 and stuff like that, that it does work on the lower devices as well there is backwards compatibility but yeah you can see that the terminal username is Chen Lion, so it's basically the same thing as in here it's not a different one however there is indeed a different one available as well and it's this one by ABC research they posted today this picture in here and they said quote SSH achieved iOS 14.2 zero day for those of you unfamiliar with the security research language a zero day is basically an exploit or a vulnerability that is not not known to the vendor at the time you're doing this so basically they're using an exploit that hasn't been reported yet to Apple and of course Apple doesn't know about it doesn't know where the vulnerability is and in their photo here they are actually showing a terminal again with SSH connected and by the device model in here B79 AP I think that's the iPhone SE 2020 which is indeed an A12 device so still very good and it's still on 14.2 so a lot of jailbreak achievements in here one from Lion Chen on 14.2 iPhone 12 and one from the ABC research on the iPhone SE 2020 which is A12 and of course both of them on 14.2 remember 14.2 is that bad iOS version you shouldn't be on but of course these are all achieved but not released for the moment I know many people get pissed off when I publish that a jailbreak has been achieved because they say it's never going to be released well you never know when it's going to be released or what but also it's an important achievement from the community because I always say well stay away from 14.2 or stay away from whatever because usually that version at that point is the latest as is the case in here and there are no vulnerabilities for it and what these jailbreak achievements actually do is to prove the fact that no matter how many vulnerabilities have been patched in a version it's never 100% secure there will always be a jailbreak at some point so there is hope but you do have to wait and of course staying on the lowest version possible does pay off for example if you're on 13.7 right now you would definitely be able to jailbreak very very soon an exploit has been released so yeah if any of these exploits get released in the future we will be able to update the uncovered jailbreak for a12 and a13 devices even on iOS 14.2 but of course the releases may take a while if they will happen we have no word on that for the moment but anyways it's pretty good news so yeah, thank you for watching I am Geos now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out